So after cell division, cell elongation and growth, we can even consider one more function of auxin, and that is the stimulation of the process called as abscission. Now, what exact, exactly is abscission? When a structure in the plant's body is old, it has to be shed. So that process of loosening a structure or shedding a structure, like a leaf is shed, uh, petals are shed, flowers are shed, fruits are shed. That process is called as abscission. So an organ. it can be a leaf it can be a fruit will not abscise if it contain normal level of auxin so if abscission has to occur the auxin the uh, only when the auxin content falls and abscission layer produced between the organ and the stem is there so this causes the abscission layer to be formed and once abscission layer is formed then slowly the middle lamella which connects the cell walls of the uh, abscission layer together they will start becoming loose as that area becomes loose that structure would fall so it has been observed that while auxin inhibits abscission of the young leaves it promote the abscission in the case of the old leaves as well as fruit so abscission is 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 the function of auxin in the young portion abscission does not occur because the content of the auxin is high as the content of auxin goes down in the old portions in the plant then older organs are supposed to be fallen off in the same manner there is one more function of the auxin and that is the apical dominance now what is apical dominance we all know that there will be a mother axis or the primary growth axis so the tip this main tip is called as the apex now and we all know the leaves will be formed in this manner and we have learned already in the plant morphology chapter 5th that there are buds present here now as long as this growth axis is persistent this will continue to grow longer and faster and this will not cause these buds to grow if you cut this bud you must have seen if there is a lawn in your home or in the school you must have seen the gardener is supposed to always make a hedge short so cutting of the hedge Uh, longitudinal axis will cause hedge to become more bushier so why it becomes bushier because when you cut the tip portion the side branches will take over they will become they will start growing so why have they become uh, active now because apical dominance has been removed so as long as the tip remains this apex will remain dominant over the lateral buds or lateral branches so these branches will not grow and this is the function of auxin so apical dominance is the phenomena of suppression of the growth in nearby lateral buds by the presence of the apical bud so this apical bud will not cause the growth of the lateral buds apical buds exerts this influence by secreting hormone called as auxin and removal of the apical bud will will cause the lateral buds to start growing this phenomena is used in the preparation of hedges and bushier growth of the tea plant growth of lateral bud is in a decapitated shoot can be prevented by application of a paste of auxin over the stem so scientists have done experiments also with this and they have found if you cut this and again uh, put some auxin on this cut portion these portions will not grow that mean auxin is responsible for apical dominance in the same manner one more function is there that is the promotion of the cell uh, division in the vascular cambium so cambial activity now cambium topic has already been uh, removed from this labor chapter number 6 but in your 10th class you must have learned about xylem and phloem so xylem and phloem in the uh, vascular tissue are separated by a uh, meristematic zone which is called as cambium so cambium is responsible for adding more cells to xylem and phloem so the cambium activity is also controlled by auxin auxin promotes xylem differentiation uh, differentiation means losing the property of division and picking up a uh, important significant function for example a cell developing from cambium initially is dividing as it divides it may become xylem it may become phloem a particular type of cell of xylem because we have learned in 10th 9th class also that xylem is a complex tissue so 
this property uh, the, the, this phenomena of loss of property of division and performing some other function is called as differentiation so the it has been found even in the grafting experiment that auxin is added to enhance cambial activity so that root and uh, this the stalk and the scion can be joined so whenever healing has to take place in plants healing occur because of cambium and cambium's activity is motivated or promoted by the presence of auxin hormone in the same manner one more function we can learn and that is the tropic movement so tropic movements uh, you have done in 10th class that bending of the stem uh, towards the light or uh, that means phototropism geotropism uh, then we have chemotropism all these are uh, con are caused by stimulus related differential distribution of auxin so auxin's concentration controls all these apart from this there are many other functions like nodule formation in the leguminous plants respiration can uh, the increase in the respiration rate is controlled by auxin again root formation tissue culture there are many functions of auxin now the uses commercial use of auxin involve inhibiting the growth of the primary root so uh, it will cause inhibition of the primary root growth so finally what will happen side branches of roots will develop it also stimulates any in initiation of lateral and adventitious root system so these type of roots will develop because of auxin it also induces femaleness in many of the plants so there are many plants in which feminizing effect is there so if if auxin is applied to the plant it is found that the flowers will develop more number of female flowers and lesser number of male flowers for example 24d that means 2,4 dichlorophenoxyacetic acid even naa these uh, hormones when sprayed it is found in lychee as well as in pineapple that there are more number of female flowers which are born it also induces flowering in uh, many plants like in the case of lychee and apple flowering uh, flowering would be there more flowering will be there if these hormones are applied in the same manner we have the concept of parthenocarpy now parthenocarpy means uh, fru uh, fruits which are formed without seed formation so such type of fruits uh, are called as parthenocarpic fruits so uh, the parthenocarpy concept is also because of auxin if auxins are sprayed without fertilization fruits will be formed and then uh, there are weedy sides which will supposed to kill unwanted plants from the field for example 24d is a weedy side 245t is also a weedy side or herbicide